Now, Dubai has a long established reputation as a hub, a convergence point between East and West. And it's little wonder then that enormous success is enjoyed by its ports and port operators. And of course, Dubai winning the right to host Expo 2020 means that exhibitors will now get to enjoy one of the world's largest sea to air cargo corridors. But DP World's presence is increasingly becoming international, and its London Gateway project is clear evidence of this. Well, Katie Fielder met up with DP World's chairman, His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Salayim, and started by asking him what attracted his company to the project. What attracted us is the proximity to London. Mm -hmm. London Gateway is so close to almost 15 million people who are major importers. The majority of importers in the UK are only about 80, you know, or maybe, maybe 30 or 40 miles. And that is within our vicinity. Uh, in addition, it reminds me of Jabal Ali because one of the reasons why Jabal Ali is so successful because of the logistic park around it. Logistics played a major role in ensuring that we have dedicated shipping line coming to the port. And that is exactly the same thing we are repeating in London. So Marcus Spencer announced establishing a 200 million pound logistic park before even the port opened. Mm -hmm. So that shows the success of London already. So in terms of what it's doing for the economy, you feel it's a financial sign, but it's also about jobs creation as well, isn't it? We believe by the time the port is fully operational, you could look at 30, 36,000 people working. And certainly Europe needs that right now. Do you feel that there's a risk? Do you feel that it potentially jeopardises the UAE's own trade, trade capabilities, being involved in these kinds of massive projects elsewhere? Not at all, not at all. These, these, if every port we have, it has its own market. We are, for example, in the Red Sea. We are in Jeddah. We are in Egypt. We are in Djibouti. None of them compromise the business of the other. So we have ports that are closed, but they don't really jeopardize. Each one has its own management. Each one is aggressively working to secure their market. Do you feel that it opens up trade capabilities then to and from the UK? Absolutely. I think UK eventually going to be an exporting, uh, an export uh, place for logistics, because once logistics have established then it will really compete with the traditional logistical centers in the world. Do you feel that you revolutionized uh, the entire UK's trade and transport system from this project, this super port, as it's being called? Uh, definitely. I, I think it also re-emphasized the confidence in the economy in the UK because without London Gateway, UK will be short of deep water port and they would end up really as a feeder port, a port that will cargo will come from other places fed into UK, into UK. And with this port, we needed a place close to London, and we had London Gateway, and it became important for us. When you first entered this industry, did you ever imagine that one day it would be Dubai teaching London how to do business? Let me tell you, I will go even beyond. When I joined in 1982, I have never imagined that I will see Jabal Ali full in my life. Yeah. I, I, I mean, w whenever you hear, because I was a trainee, I was just working, and, and, and when I ask people, you know, what are the prospects for business? They said, oh, this place is too big. It's too big for Dubai. Many people tell me, why I don't know where they build it. And today we have no choice but to expand Jabal Ali. Actually, the last expansion of Jabal Ali is we are doing it now. After that, we cannot expand inside the port. We have to go outside. Finally, you mentioned the huge number of projects you are involved in internationally. What about going forwards? Where else are you looking to invest? What opportunities excite you most nowadays? The first port we expanded outside Dubai was Jeddah. We never really thought of managing ports until our customers said, Jeddah, they are bidding for management. Why don't you bid? Mm -hmm. And that was our first. Why did we go to London? Our customers. We, just, we didn't just uh, sat here and look at drawing and said, well, it looks nice. No, no, we go to the customer and said, you know, this idea of, of London Gateway, would you be there? They said, of course we will be there. Mm -hmm. And when the customer said they, they will, we will immediately make resources and effort to ensure that we are there because we want to be where our customers are.